white people should be exterminated. All white people are racist. White people cannot cook. White people smell like dogs. White people can dance. All of these and more is okay to be said about white people. Oh, it is not racism. It is just prejudice. Openly calling for the extermination of a group of people based on their race is not racism. Okay, let's take a look at the definition. The discrimination and prejudice against people based on their race or ethnicity. And the last time I checked, white is a race. Irrespective of popular beliefs, every race can experience racism. Read my lips. Every race, okay? Be it systematically, individually, or communally. Every race can be raised against, including and especially white people in this day and age. The reason I decided to make this video today is because I came across this video on TikTok. And mind you, this is not the first time I am seeing something like this. It is not even the 50th time, okay? In fact, I have seen videos that are worse than this. I have seen videos that were 10 times more horrible than this particular one. And all the hate in videos like this are being directed towards white people openly and without any fear of being accused of racism okay or being criticized by the society because we now live in a society where people believe that every race can experience racism except white people our current society have decided that white people for some reason are immune to racism and therefore they are fair game for anyone who wants to openly discriminate hate and prejudice against them this video we are about to see highlights that particular idea white people have a specific scent because they don't bathe every day and even if they do they don't use washcloths and even if they do they don't wash the bottom half of their body now there's more to that video but before we move on with the video i just want to remind you that this is a black woman and she's openly saying this sort of thing about white people because she knows that she can do it and no one will reprimand or criticize her for it black people also have a scent they smell of food or soap Y'all smell like your skin is screaming for help. Also, my video got to American TikTok. Donald Trump just got shot. You have better things to argue about. While you added also exfoliate. The f yeah, she couldn't care less. She's just going to continue her ad hominem attacks on white people. Like I said, I have heard worse things, okay? This video can't even compare to the horrible things I have heard being directed at white people. But this video also showcases one of those forms of an anti-white rhetoric and outspoken hate against them. I raised the whole of TikTok looking for just one person condemning this video, but I was disappointed. Everyone was okay with that because it is okay to be racist towards white people. Racism is bad unless you're channeling it towards white people, then it is okay. Anyway, after hours and hours of scoring TikTok, looking for someone who actually spoke out against this shameless verbal attack against white people i finally came across a white dude who summoned the courage to dispel this nonsense white people have a specific scent because they don't bathe every day and even if they do they don't use washcloths and even if they do they don't wash the bottom half of their body make this video about any other group and watch how quickly it gets taken down or if it isn't taken down people are ignorantly arguing in your comments now groups have different proclivities towards using spices cheap colognes, a bunch of fragrances in their home, different things to wash their clothes, or just not using deodorant, especially when they exercise, you know, not using antiperspirant, which I don't know if that's a cultural thing or maybe they just, they're health nuts, but it's very noticeable. Also, I'm around enough people who are exercising, you know, a lot of white people, maybe you made that judgment based upon one white person who stunk in your life. Um, and you know, you're, you're just assuming that Every white person does the shit that people online talk about. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they're just lazy f the, the one person you encountered that was like that. Alternatively though, if I started my video the exact same way that you did, uh, but inserted any other group, um, my shit would be taken down. So I don't know, maybe reflect on that. Now this man made a very important observation, which was that if he, as a white man, started any of his videos that same way this woman did, his video would be immediately taken down by TikTok. The video would be flagged. People would be coming for him. He is going to be cancelled online and offline. The internet would be on fire. Hell will freeze over. His friends will desert him. He would be branded a racist. His life would be over. But since this video was made by a black person, everybody has to shut up, agree with her, and move on. Now, how is that supposed to be okay? 
how can we frown at discrimination against a particular group of people and then encourage the same discrimination facilitate the same discriminations against another group of people isn't that a good example of double standards how is that okay and again what are washcloths i have never heard of it before what is that because i genuinely don't know maybe that's because i'm nigerian are you going to say that because i do not use washcloths then i smell bad now i am not against people who use washcloths or anything but i am saying that as a nigerian i do not use it and i don't even know what it is so does that mean that many other people who doesn't use washcloths are all smelly some people use something called a loofah and a net sponge and that is what i prefer okay they come in different colors and usually very long so you can use it to scrub your back and part of your body that your hands cannot reach now because these things are nets they do not retain moisture so all you have to do is use them and hang them and they'll be dry and clean in a minute now if you ask me a confirmed african woman born and raised i would say that loofahs and net sponges are the best as opposed to washcloths but people have their preferences okay to each their own i would not assume that all white people use or do not use washcloths because some people are different from each other for instance this woman who made this video is a black woman and she uses washcloths but i a fellow black woman do not i don't even know what it is and the guy who stitched this video is a white guy and he uses washcloths and loofahs and other things why do we think it is okay for us to go about being racist against white people making all sorts of videos about white people yet we cannot take the heat when they decide to do the same to us as a black person have you seen your dreadlocks have you have you seen black women's braids our braids that can last up to three weeks and more without seeing a wash day how do you go about spewing rubbish about other race knowing fully well that your own race is not perfect how would you feel if a white person takes out their phone and start making a video saying black people smell bad because they don't wash their hair they have dreadlocks and you know things like that of course that white person would be forever cancelled would be obliterated would be destroyed but as a black person how would you feel about that why do you think it is okay for you to say it when you know you cannot take it when other people other people from other race say it against you or say it about you you guys should stop this petty childish bickering and picking on white people because of something that their ancestors did 400 years ago we need to start healing for real for real some of us have phantom scars, okay, and traumas. We have phantom traumas. I call it phantom because it is not real. We never experienced these traumas. Our forefathers did. Our ancestors did. Yet, we perpetrate these traumas much more than they ever did, okay? We need to stop. We need to get rid of these white people, these white people, that videos, okay? If we are truly tired of racism, if we truly want to put an end to racism, then we need to stop perpetrating it against white people, okay? These people are humans. They are human beings. They have feelings. They cry and they hurt when we bully them racially. If white people are the enemies and we are the good people, then why isn't our words, why isn't our videos, why isn't our entire personality overflowing with goodness and love and compassion? Racism is bad. It is bad for black people. It is bad for Asians. It is bad for Hispanics. And it is bad for white people too. Wrong is wrong, no matter who is perpetrating it. Anyway, guys, this is my opinion, but feel free to share yours in the comment section below, but do so respectfully. Also, consider subscribing to my channel, like and share this video to keep people informed, and think about joining my membership as a way of supporting the channel because most of my videos are extremely demonetized. All in all, thanks for watching this video, and I hope to catch you on my next upload. For now, peace.